I'm here with Tamea Nagy, who's from an incredible organization called Walk With Me. Not only is this an incredible woman, but she's also the founder who helps individuals out of human trafficking. Hi, Tamea. Hi, thank you so much for having me. Thank you so much for being here. I'm so excited for you to, to not only explain to everybody about Walk With Me, but also an incredible event coming up. So let's kind of take it back and tell us a little bit about Walk With Me. Where did it come from um, and what do you guys do? Sure. Walk With Me started in 2009. I, f I started Walk With Me not knowing that I'm going to actually start an organization at the time. I started to speak out about my experience about uh, being human trafficked from Hungary to Canada in 1998. And when I started speaking out about my experience, mainly to law enforcement so that I can educate them about signs and how to identify victims, um, the officers started asking me who to call when they find a victim. And I said, well, just call your, you know, your organizations that do this. And they said, well, there is no organizations. I said, well, here's my number. You can call me. And that's when I stopped sleeping. So I started to show up at police stations with my little car and my little saved money that I had on the side. And I started to help them out. Until 2010, January, I got a call from RCMP that they had about 23 victims of human trafficking out of Hamilton, male victims, and that they have nowhere to go. So that's when I started to go to churches and said, this is what I'm doing. Can somebody help me with some donations? And I met a, a, an amazing woman. Her name is Shane Vidiada. And I also taught her uh, my journey and that I'm currently helping 23 male victims out of my own pocket. Can she help me? Because I know she would like to get into this uh, movement. And so she just started the organization called Freedom and she started to raise funds for us immediately along with the church donations. So um, <clears throat> very smart people came along the way and said you should probably start an organization, have a name for it, mission and vision, vision statement, get a charity status and uh, get a board of directors. Uh, one of that very smart person was Rob Hooper who's a lawyer out of Hamilton and now he's the chair of our board. So to sum it up, since 2009 starting from the trunk of my car and helping 23 men and uh, three female victims. Um, now it's 2014 and up to date we helped over 280 victims of hum human trafficking within Canada and uh, we went from one police agency calling us for assistance to over 36. So you can imagine that we are busy. One of those agencies actually Halton Regional Police. So when, when you're looking at Halton Region, mm -hmm. I, how often are we seeing cases in this area? Was there anything recently, um, you know, in the, in the past maybe year or so that you can think of? Sure. So I can speak within the last two years, for example, since we started to work in Halton Region and since Halton Regional Police started to take this issue very seriously, um, we have identi and identified a lot of victims, but it doesn't always mean that that becomes a court case or the victims come forward. Um, currently, up to date, I believe there was four human trafficking investigation in Halton Region. Um, and I could be wrong, the number could be higher by now, but um, I believe there was four investigations and there was just a recent case that maybe the viewers haven't been able to see in the news, but it was about four months ago, a young woman, Canadian woman, was rescued by the police just down the street from one of the hotel here. And I've also heard recently there's, you know, a few parlors that are under investigation as well in the Halton region. I think there was something like seven or eight involved, right. which, I mean, we don't even know, right, which kind of um, circumstances those women are, are working there for. So, well, yes. good for you. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm so glad that there's people in the world like you who are helping these individuals and you know for the public that's kind of when we come in uh, talking about funding and the importance of funding for for you and so that it's not out of pocket um, an upcoming event I hear yes what's, uh, what's going on so we have a gala um, of course fundraising is extremely important because each victim could cost up to $2,500 depending on her needs or his needs 
Um, and um, so we have a gala coming up, it's called Journey to Freedom, and the first gala started three, four years ago, so this is the fourth annual gala, and it started by a survivor who wanted to do something for Walk With Me as a payback for what we have done for her. So she started this, and we just kind of continuing the, um, her celebration and her ideas. So it's a, a gala where it starts out with um, amazing celebrity speakers, some celebrity speakers, politicians, and then we move into a second part of the gala where we actually give out awards. So this is the fourth year when we actually find unsung heroes in a community, law enforcement, politicians, you know, you name it, who went above and beyond, way beyond their job description to help individuals. So we're handing out Officer of the Year awards, we're handing out a humanitarian award, and we're handing out an international award every year. So that's the gala. It is January 26th at the Carmen's Banquet Hall, and you'll see the website coming up shortly. And uh, we would absolutely love to have anybody, and if you would like to learn about human trafficking or hear from survivors itself, um, about their journey and healing journey, I would suggest you to come. Sounds wonderful, and uh, of course, I'll be attending. I, I already have my ticket, and so for anyone, um, that's Sunday, uh, January 26th at Carmen's Banquet Hall, right in Hamilton. An incredible event and an opportunity for you to learn more about what's happening and what amazing work. Um, Walk With Me is doing right here for our own individuals of, of human trafficking in Holland Region as well. So thank you so much and uh, we look forward to, to hearing more incredible work that you're doing around our, our area here in Holton. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you.